right, welcome to the sweet 16 of root beer. Who knew there was such a thing? But it's something that we have put together and we hope you enjoy it. So when we started traveling, we collected, we did this and we collected root beers everywhere we went. So we've got 16 bottled root beers. You can see them here in the video. And what we're gonna do is just a bracket style tournament of Caitlin and I tasting each of the root beers. We have no brand loyalty. We really, before we left, we knew very few of these brands, if any. Um, and so we have no brand loyalty. So we're gonna taste them and give our thoughts and we're gonna narrow it down to what we feel like is our champion root beer. All right, so our first matchup is between Henry Weinerds. Which is from New York and it's, well, we got it in New York, company out of Texas. And then we have Frosty, which some of you will probably recognize. Which is from Detroit. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a taste and see what we think. There's one and then two. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay. That one tastes kind of more sweet, I feel like. It is very sweet. For sure. Yep. All right, number two. Not a real strong root beer flavor to me. No, not but really. Number two. This one's good. That one has a stronger root beer flavor to me. Right. Yeah, that's good. All right. All right. Which one do you like better? I think I would go with the Frosties, which is number two. I didn't know which was which, but I'm going with number two. So if that's oh. Frosties. I'm going with Frosty. Yeah, I think Frosty is number two, but All number right. two. Two it is. They're over here thinking we're drinking beer. They're all looking at us like, what, what's he got that little girl drinking beer for? <laughs> all right, so number three and number four, we've got Red Rock Premium Root Beer. Which we got from Cracker Barrel and it's out of Atlanta. And then we have Hank's Gourmet. So we've got our premium and our gourmet root beers in this round. And the Hanks is from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. So it's Atlanta against Philadelphia. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was kind of different. That was the most different root beer I've ever tasted. Yeah. So okay. some of these we had to buy six packs or four packs. Some we just bought Red one. Red Rock, we got at Cracker Barrel, so we just got one off the shelf. So we've never so had this We before. have never <laughs> opened a Red Rock. <laughs> and I, I don't know if I ever will again. <laughs> You don't have much to live up to. That one's different too, but I like it. Right. It's a good different. What do you think? Sounds good. I think four for sure on that one for me. Yeah. I don't want to sway your opinion with my reaction, but. Yeah, I think I like four better. Red Rock. <laughs> Sorry, Red Rock. Red Rock, leave it to the amphitheater in Denver because that's where Red Rock should be. Um, Sorry, Atlanta. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have a battle between Freddy's Old Fashioned Root Beer. Which we got when we were with our friends in Tennessee, but the company is out of Kentucky. And then we have Appalachian Root Beer, however you say that. Sorry, Appalachian. Which is from... You know, those mountains, that big mountain range. It's from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All right. There's number five and six. Yeah, I just say that every time there's numbers. Well, but I picked them up the wrong way. All right, so number five. Number five. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. It's so interesting how different root beers can be. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. Number six. That one's good too. I 
I might have to. Wow. Those are both very good. <laughs> Alright. What? We're gonna do it kinda like rock, paper, scissors, and we're gonna say <clears throat> we're gonna point to which one we like with our eyes closed. Because I don't want to sway each other's opinion. Okay. So this is hard. <laughs> Alright, close your eyes and then pick. Alright, one, two, three. We both picked the same one. All right, okay. But this one was very good. Freddy's very good. it is, but man. We're going to put this in an honorable, honorable mention category. Maybe there will be a loser's bracket. That's <laughs> what we're going to do. We just created a loser's bracket yes. because this one deserves to move forward. All right, so we got us a little water. We've got to rinse out our mouth a little bit between these because they're all going to run together. Yeah. All right, so our next matchup is between Pearson Brothers Root Beer. <laughs> Which is from Newport, um, Vermont. Newport, Vermont, all right. And then we have Saranac, and those of you from New York can tell us if we pronounce that wrong, but Saranac, Saranac, something, root beer. That's from Utica, New York. Both of these are pretty old companies. This one says 1896, this one says 1888. So, I mean, this is some, these are some long standing companies we got going here. Yeah. So, Bring on seven and eight. My beverage carrier fell down on the job. She's not here anymore. <laughs> well, I'm trying to keep your loser's bracket honorable uh, mentions over here. Oh, yes. I created a loser's bracket, so she's got to do some work. All right. We're at number right, seven number here. Seven. I don't know what I think about that. I do. <laughs> this is another one we have not opened before. Mm -mm. That's a no for me. <laughs> Alright. Does this, does this look like something to any of y'all? Because if it looks like a bottle of cough syrup, that's about <laughs> what it tastes like. <laughs> that is it bad. It does not even taste like root beer at all. No, that's bad. That is most definitely worse than the Sorry, Red Pearson Rock. Brothers. Don't know how you made it this long, but a hundred and however many years that is. Mm -hmm. 100, 125 years they've been in business. Yep, that's Someone right. in Vermont <laughs> likes that root beer, and so mm -mm. I'm, I'm happy for you. All right, so. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Serenic. Oh, wow. Good. And that one's good. Yeah. So that one is an easy choice. Easy choice. Serenek, it is. I think I produced, <laughs> pronounced that name different every time Serenic. I've said it. All right, we are on to round number, I don't even know. Five. Five. All right. And we have the Old Soaker root beer. Which is from Bar Harbor, Maine. Bar Harbor, Maine. We actually drove past the place where they make this. And then we have Hannaford Brothers. Which is Scarborough, Maine. Scarborough, Maine, and I actually got this at a grocery store um, there in Maine. So I'm anxious to try these two. It's been a while since we've had these. Quality root beer. That's got some kind of different taste to it. Yeah. It's not bad, but. What do you think? I think I'm going with that one. Yeah, I, I much prefer this one over here. This one, right? That is, the old soaker is good. Interesting fact, when we were there, we also tried a blueberry um, soda that they had that I thought was very good. All right, so we're on to round six, and this is a brand, I'm sure I'm going to botch this name, but we're going to say Sprecher. Um, S-P-R-E-C-H-E-R. 
and this is um, Sprecher root beer. Interesting fact, it says up here at the top, made with Wisconsin honey. So where is this one from? This one's from Glendale, Wisconsin. The honey kind of gave it away. And then we have Sprecher as well, but this is a maple root beer, which it's kind of, it should, maybe should have been in a category of its own. We'll see if we like it. We've not tried that one yet, so we'll see. And it's also out of? Glendale, Wisconsin. Glendale, Wisconsin. Okay. All right, let's try this one. I'm kind of scared to try the maple. <laughs> Maple's kind of scaring us a little bit. <laughs> it tastes good. It just doesn't really taste like root beer. Definitely has another note in there that we're not accustomed to in our root beer. But it tastes good. Yeah. Which one do you like better? I don't know, they're both good. But then one of them just tastes more like root beer. So which one do you think? It's the root beer sweet 16, so which one are you going with? I think I'm gonna go with the regular. That's what I said as well. The original. Sprecher with honey. All right, we've got two more rounds. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, because then we gotta taste them all again. <laughs> yep. All right, so next we have Abita root beer. This is from Abita Springs, Louisiana. Just outside of New Orleans. And then we have a traditional, one that you've all probably seen all over the place. A much more readily available IBC root beer. Both of these, interestingly enough, are made with um, cane sugar. And the IBC is from Plano, Texas? Did I say that right? Plano, Texas, Plano. yes. Don't get those Texas names wrong because those people are passionate. No, that's good. I don't care. I don't think we have any Texas fans. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Art. Excuse me. <laughs> this is rough. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. I know what I think. Tell me your thoughts first. Wait, let me taste real quick. I think that that one tastes sweeter. Number 13. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think about IBC? It's pretty good. I almost right. feel like there's something different. But yeah, which one do you like? I almost want to go with the, that one, number 13. That was my pick. I picked, yep. in my mind, I was thinking Abita. This one is a little bit weaker to me. Yeah. Um, I just, this one's got a stronger flavor and I like that better. Mm -hmm. Abita it is. All right, we're a little bit thrown off here. It's not staying with the theme. We've got the big plastic bottle. Of Polar. But we saw it and we just thought, you know what, we have to get this. So this is Polar. This is beer. from Worcester, Massachusetts. And once again, we have pronounced that wrong and it sounds like someone please tell us how to pronounce Worcester, Massachusetts. Next, we have the Ithaca Soda Company root beer, Soda of the Finger Lakes. That one is from New York. And this one says on the bottle, no alcohol, no caffeine. If you're familiar with root beer, a lot of root beers do not have caffeine. Um, I'm not aware of any root beers that have alcohol, so why they put that on there, I guess just to distinguish so it's not seen as a beer. Mm. 
you some more water? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Polar. <laughs> I was trying not to react to see if she would react. That's not good. excellent. <laughs> Yeah, that one's not good. All right, Ithaca. I don't know. Neither one of those is my favorite, honestly. Yeah. I know what I would go with though. I'm about, I'm about to substitute here. <laughs> yeah, take the Appalachian back in here. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> That's true. That's not very strong. It almost, I don't know. <laughs> I know what I'm choosing. Yeah, me too. I'm choosing number 16, Ithaca. Ithaca's my choice. I would pick Appalachian over Ithaca. Over both of these. Should over we both of these. Put the Appalachian in there instead? Since uh, none I of almost the feel like this losers bracket. All right, we're, we're calling an audible here, and if you don't like it, you know what, it's not your video. You can hate us in the comments, I guess. But both of these are getting kicked out, and Appalachian, Lachin, is coming back in. It's coming back in in the place of Ithaca, Ithaca, who technically won that round, but... Wasn't as good as Appalachian. Yeah, it wasn't great. number nine. Yep, yeah. you came in ninth, Ithaca. Thanks for playing. All right, so it's Frosty. Frosty's against Hanks. All right. This is where it gets harder because you've got all the ones that you think were good yep. against each other. Need some water for the mm. Let me see this actually. Let me grab it, please. I can't reach it. Alright, this is going to get a little more difficult. We're going to have to come right. up with a way to not influence each other's decisions. So. Polarizing point? No, you I'm can just like tell, tell them which one you like. Alright, I think I'm going with the Hanks. I like Boy, Frosty's better. Alright. I don't know, the Hanks is good. Yeah, the Frosty's it's good too. Alright, hold on. Let me do something here. If you don't know, root beer always tastes better out of glass. If you've got a glass, if you've got a glass bottle, it just tastes better. If you don't, you're right, we have plastic. All right. <laughs> if you don't know, we don't carry glasses in the RV, so. Yes, we do. You have some on right now. What do you think? I don't know. I still like the Frosty better. Don't, hey, don't finish them. <laughs> we still gotta use We still some. got more rounds for one okay. of these jokers. Possibly two of them. All right, so here we go. In the Elite Eight, we have Freddy's Old Fashioned Root Beer in Saranac out of New York. So here we go, five and eight. Those are both very similar. Yeah. <laughs> One had a little bit of a different taste to me. Was that a good different? Um, I feel like it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything super special to me. Gotcha. I don't know. Let's see, I think I know where I'm going. Me too. All right, ready? All right, three, two, 
Wow, this may get a little bit what, confusing. What numbers are those? Yeah, five, and five and eight. So, See, what like we may do here like in the like Elite Eight is have our own brackets. You can just each have a ranking. Yep. All right. Hey, everybody's got different tastes, right? Maybe you love polar root beer. Hey. <laughs> Maybe to each his own. Pearson Brothers. Maybe you're a Pearson Brothers fan. This, <laughs> this video no goes man. to show that people have different tastes and enjoy different things. So if you like Pearson Brothers, drink up. Um, <laughs> we, we have a different if opinion. Coughing, you and can this have way, that. you can figure out if your taste is... She said if you're coughing, you can have that because it tastes like cough medicine. All right. So there we go. My, my choice is Saranac. Caitlin went with Freddy's. It says, hey, daddy-o. That's why she likes it. All right, so we have Old Soaker out of Bar Harbor and Sprecher Honey out of Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin, I'm sorry. Not way as Wisconsin. Again. It may be. You never know. Which um, way do you go? I'm going with that one. All right, so that one for well. both of us. Old Soaker it is in the third round of the final, or the Elite Eight, I guess you call this. All right, so we're in the final round of the Elite Eight, and we have Abita against the Comeback Kid, Appalachian. <laughs> Thirteen versus six. All right, so here's number six. All right, so let's give it a try. <laughs> all right. You can try whichever one you want first. It's, it's all good. Or you some more six and try again, or double. Sorry. All right. What you think? You're drinking too much. She just had to have a bathroom break. <laughs> Ooh. One more sip. Mm, well, I have a little tiny sip in there. <laughs> you can have some of mine if you want. <laughs> At first I was going one way, now I'm going the other way. All right. All right. Three, Which two, way? One point. Three, two, one, go. The comeback is complete. They moved on to the final four. All right, so here we are in the final four. Both of us have a different final four. And so my first round of the final four is Frosties against Saranac. And then I've got Hanks and Freddy's. So there's going to be no agreement or disagreement here. Yep. I definitely have my favorite, Saranac. And I'm going Freddy's. All right, they move on. So some of you may be wondering, why Kevin and Caitlin for the root beer challenge? So we're really the only two that enjoy root beer. Yep, because the other three girls don't really like caffeine, and then Mama just Really like no, they, they, they like caffeine. They don't like carbonation. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. So the other three girls don't like carbonation a whole lot. And Casey just really doesn't like root beer. A lot of times when we buy a root beer, sometimes we'll get her a cream soda. She prefers the cream soda. <laughs> All right, so here we are in the second round of the final four. This is the two that we actually agreed upon. And we have Old Soaker out of Bar Harbor against the Appalachian root beer yep the one that came back in the first round and uh, jumped back in there so yeah. shout out to them they made it back in and they seem to be doing well now we'll see how they measure up against Bar Harbor 
They might share a recipe. <laughs> For real. I'm not really sure. Those taste very similar. Yep, but I do have a favorite out of the two of them. One more. Caleb, we have figured out. I know which way I'm going. Which way are you going? One, two, three. Old soaker. It is the old soaker to the championship. Yes. All right, so here's the championship. We both cho chose Old Soaker out of Bar Harbor, Maine. And then I've got Freddy's. And I've got Saranac. So Saranac against Old Soaker, Freddy's against Old Soaker. And we'll see where we end up. I was looking at Utica, New York. Very interesting. I know which direction I'm going. I think I do too. Three. One. Wait, 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 wait. Drum roll. Ready? And Three, two, one. Old, old soaker. soaker. The old soaker wins. Number. It was something about the finish on the old soaker. It was very smooth and it tasted it tasted good. Obviously it made it this far. But there was the aftertaste was just much smoother to me than any of the other ones. Old Soaker, it's right. fantastic. Out of Bar Harbor, Maine. Bar Harbor, Maine. We're coming back to you, and we'll get some more root beer, maybe some more blueberry soda too. All right, so thanks for joining us for the Sweet 16 of root beer. We did crown a champion, Old Soaker, out of Bar Harbor, Maine, and quite honestly, we'll probably not drink root beer for a little while. <laughs> because uh, that was a lot of root beer. Yep. Typically when we have a root beer we just share one bottle and we just drank a lot of root beer. It didn't seem like that much but you when you're taking like you're taking little cups at a time it adds up in a hurry especially when you drink as much as she did. <laughs> All right so if you get a chance check out Old Soaker Root Beer. You can buy it online if you want. Get it shipped to your house. It's good stuff. Let us know in the comments below uh, what your favorite root beer is. And if we should do more bracket videos. Yes, we have we have a request for more <laughs> bracket videos. What's the bracket video you're looking for, Claire? Chicken sandwiches. She wants to do the chicken salad sandwich bracket. Not chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep that in. That would be the chicken salad chick. We love you, chicken salad chick. No, I don't like she chicken wants, salad. She wants to do the chicken sandwich challenge and uh, so leave that in the comments below too if you are picking chicken sandwiches to put in a bracket I don't know that we can come up with 16 but we can if, do, we can do eight or probably. or if we should do chicken nuggets or french fries which one do you want to see yeah what would you like to see and <laughs> what would you include thanks for joining us for the sweet 16 of root beer make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel down below and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that anytime we post a video, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for joining us. Peace. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, golly. I'm going to be sick. I might need some more. <laughs> you got to throw up I now. I ain't eating dinner tonight. I need some meat. <laughs> I need some meat. We're having breakfast for dinner.